it's time for my final thought. On March 15th at 1.40 p.m., a shooter entered Al Noor Mosques, live streaming the attack on Facebook. He killed 50 people and wounded 40 others. The same day at 4 p.m., New Zealand police announces that one person has been arrested, but that others may still be at large. March 16th, Prime Minister Jacinda Ahern visited Christchurch. Now, as a sign of respect, the Prime Minister wore a hijab, a veil worn by some Muslim women in the presence of men outside their immediate family covering their head and chest. On March 17th, Ardern said families of the fallen won't have to worry about the full cost of funeral expenses while mourning their loved ones, regardless of their immigration status. On March 20th, the first burials were, were held for victims of the shooting. The Prime Minister also visited Kashmir High School, where she was greeted by a haka performance by students. She told them it's okay to grieve and encouraged them to reach out if they needed support. Two Kashmir High School students and one former student were killed in the attacks. Now, Ardern also wore a hijab as she greeted grieving family members. Last night, she made the announcement that, quote, every semi-automatic weapon used in the terror attack on Friday will be banned, end quote. The country's cabinet agreed to overhaul the existing gun laws and ban military-style semi-automatics and assault rifles 72 hours after the Christchurch attacks. She added, quote, this legislation will be drafted and induced in urgency, end quote. New Zealand endured their worst mass shooting of all time and took immediate action. That, my friends, is leadership. You guys have a beautiful Thursday. Get up, D.C.